So now let's look at something called the lat tool. So lat tool is used to revolve around the spine, spline object to create a model. So let's look at how to do that. So I'm going to create a vase as an example. So I'm going to take the spline tool right here. Let me just bring up the spline tool object right here. So here is the spline pen, which I'm going to use to make a vase. So I'm going to go over here. Let me zoom in a bit. And here I'm going to click to start off my angle. So over here, I'm just clicking over here and I'm going to create a shape of a vase right here. So let's say I want a bit of a curved vase and over here, this is going to be uh, the vase body right over here. And then I'm going to go over here, just click and drag just like this. So it becomes like a vase shape right here. So go over here, just like this, and it becomes like a vase. There you go. So this is my outline of the vase shape. I'm going to make so I'm going to create a bit of a curb over here as well and I don't want a really curb object right over there so I'm going to take the handle keep it down so that um, now I have a straight line right here I'm going to click another shape right here because uh, this is the inner body of the bus now I'm going to click one over here this enclosure there you go let me just drag this down and over here let me just drag this down again and drag it around over here just like this and go over here and click it now before i use the, use the lat tool what i want to do is i want to uh, make sure that this is in zero x-axis because i do not want it off center so i'm going to make sure that it, it is in zero and i'm, I'm going to apply it so it is right at the center so you can see that there's still the string attached i don't want that anymore so i'm going to hold um and that is press the space bar right here so let me just click over here press the space bar and there you go i also want to make sure this is in zero uh, x-axis so that it is right at the center like that um, after I'm done with that, I'm going to go to the object selection tool so that now I can start working with this. So I do not want this right at the top. I want this below right over here. So this is the center point right there. That's the floor point. So I'm going to use that as a base point right here. Let me just close, just close this down. Once I'm done, I'm going to go back to my perspective view now by clicking the middle mouse button. And here you go. It may not seem like much now. Let us understand the concept of how Loth works. So I'm going to go over to the revolve tool right here and I'm going to revolve the object around as you can see right here. So I'm going to hold control to duplicate and over here you can see that there's the uh, duplicate of the object. Let me just select both of them just like this and I'm going to use control to revolve them around as well. So you, you see that there's this object, this Loth happening uh, just like that that's the four spline right there let me just revolve this around again so i'm going to uh, hold control and there you go there's the revolve happening just like that let me select on the all the spline and let's see how uh, the shape actually looks like so you can see that there's a lot of splines going on around right there and it is starting to look like a vase right there so it is simply expanding everything out so you can see that there's a vast like outline right there so that is what Loth does this is what we did something manually Loth does this uh, the exact same thing automatically so i'm going to press uh ctrl z a bunch of times so i can get back to the beginning with only uh, one spline right there so go, go back until i get one spline so i'm going to start from here itself so here what i want to do is I want this to load out. So now let's look at the lat tool. I'm going to click on this object right here. I'm going to go over here onto the section and here you can find uh, the option known as lat. So let me just click on this and let's see what happens. Nothing happens at the moment because this is an instance uh, added on to the objects um, um, object list right here so what i need to do is i need to grab the spine and keep it under lat so let me just grab it and make it a child and you can see that the magic happened right now there's a vas right here so the opening is quite small like it, as you can see but now the lat tool is connected with the spline itself so it is all live actually so you can still edit this out so you can go over here on to uh, the spline edit mode so you can go over here onto the spline edit you can still uh, manage this out if you want so as you can see that there's the lat tool so i can go over here inside and let's say i want to bring this a little further around at the side so i can simply uh, go on to the side just like this uh, you just got to drag this around i'm going to use the move tool for this i'm going to drag the sound you can see that everything else move along moves along with this just like that 
So there's uh, a bit of a problem right here. This is quite small. So I can even add in points to the spline right here. So let me just bring the spline out and edit the spline out. So you can simply bring this. So it is very, very dynamic as you can see. So you can bring this out a bit, bring this a bit towards the side, just like this. And I'm going to drag this around just like that. Bring, bring, bring this uh, just to the side. Let me just bring this to the side and bring this to the side as well. And this one as well, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is regroup it again. So now the opening is bigger as you can see uh, right here. So let me just go over here and here is my boss as you can see. So you can simply rearrange that out everything uh, just like that. You can also add in points right here. So you can go over here and in the spline pen uh, you can also add in points. Uh, so in order to add in point, you can simply right click and just click on add point and here there's another point as you can see right here. So you can use the basic curve to change the design right here on, on the go and there you go. There's some interesting outlook to it as you can see right here. So I can right, right click here and I'm going to add some point here, click here and there you go. So you can make some design changes right over there for some interesting outlook. There you go, a complex design quite easily right there. There's also the last tool and here you can see on the object that you can work with the angle. So if I were to, let's say, decrease the angle, you can see that the load actually decreases. So you can also make this like an animation right here. I'm using the um, scroll mouse button to actually do this value. So let me do a full 360 rotation. You can also do a 45 degrees rotation right here. So that's a 45 degree person of lats right here. Let me just do 360 altogether again. You can also increase the subdivision level to increase the level of smoothness. So you can really bring it down for you know, uh, for a different outlook as you can see. You can also increase the subdivision and you can see that it becomes more smooth as we add in the numbers. But it does take uh, more processing power. You can also increase the ISO. Uh, the isopalm which you're going to see in further lessons. You can also change the movement as you can see right here which actually changes the angle of uh, the overall vase as you can see so it really gives a different look and the good uh, and you can also work around with the scaling uh, from start to finish just like this to give it a different look as well so just like that so I'm going to just leave it back into 100% uh, movement is going to be zero itself because I want this look to be maintained right here. So there you go. So I have this model right here, which is made out of lat tool. So you can see that lat tool can be used to uh, model um, sometimes these kind of objects, round objects quite easily, just like that. So that is how you can use lat tool to model round objects. And suppose, for example, vase or any other round objects, for example, like tires and so forth. Uh, quite easily and quickly. So if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe